I will never look at the month of April the same ever again. My birthday was a few days prior. The babies were just at my house. Emotions high in a courtroom just moments ago. A Monroe County judge laid out the charges against a driver that crashed into a boat club during a child's party, killing two children and seriously hurting several other people. Family members spoke out asking the judge to set her bond at one and a half million dollars. Michael Sandlin was inside that courtroom this morning. Michael, walk us through what happened in this very tragic case. Melissa, first and foremost, the judge laid out the charges for the woman accused of killing two children and injuring nine others, 66-year-old Marcella Chidester. She now could be facing up to two life sentences, being charged with second-degree murder, two counts of operating while intoxicated and causing death, and four counts of operating while intoxicated and causing <laughs> injury. Daughter. In the courtroom this morning, the prosecution, led by Monroe County Prosecutor Jeffrey Yorkey, called Chai Dester a known abuser of alcohol and a general danger to the public, and asked the judge set the $1.5 million bond. Chai Dester's defense says she has a medical condition that causes paralysis of the legs, saying this Saturday's crash was a result of said condition. However, the prosecution fired back that Chai Dester had a very high blood alcohol content and shouldn't have been operating that vehicle. Along with conditions, it is based uh, I don't know if you can mute for right now. Your Honor, uh, from the opposite side of the her legs for my sister's three children. <laughs> we were supposed to be planning a birthday party for Zane, not a funeral. What you just heard was emotional testimony from the aunt of the two victims saying that had that what has happened with Chai Dester has absolutely hurt her family and destroyed their lives. Chai Dester's next scheduled hearing is April 30th, and we expect to hear more from prosecution and other members of the courtroom soon. Melissa. Mike, absolutely heartbreaking to hear uh, the children's aunt sharing those words. Uh, we usually don't hear testimony like this during an arraignment. Was this unconventional? Absolutely, Melissa. This was completely unconventional. Normally, we see an arraignment last no longer than two or three minutes. The judge gives the suspect their, what they've been charged with, and that's usually about how long it lasts. But in this case, we're at over 20 minutes of testimony from different members of the Phillips family and other people that are from the Swan Boat Club, leading to a very emotional start to a very upsetting case. For now, reporting in Monroe, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.